Hello everyone. So, uh, I've had a couple of requests to kind of explain what an average day at Lambda is like. Now, obviously, considering I'm a part-time student, I can only do this from the part-time perspective, but I'm more than happy to share with y'all kind of what my week looks like as a student here because it's very different than what I personally expect you going into this, especially someone who's coming out of a traditional education system. Uh, you know, obviously went to high school and finished that, as well as attended both the community college and university level. So this is really unlike all of that. Um, now let me note that I am on the East Coast and most of their times are set up for uh, Pacific time. But luckily Google Calendar adjusts all that for me, so the times you're seeing on my calendar, that is EST, you can convert that. Um, however, if you're in California, this is three hours ahead of you. So, um, let me back up a week here. So, what we got is week five, which is JavaScript Fundamentals, and this is, week, this is an A week right here. Um, pointing with my finger does a lot less than moving the mouse. So on A week, we start out with flex time, one-on-ones, and T-kit prep. What the hell does that mean? Basically, you will go through the three hours and you have a training kick when your uh, syllabus, which basically preps you for what the next two weeks will be or week. Uh, it, it is weekly sections, but the part-time sprint is considered two weeks instead of a week, like the full-time. Um, so during that three hours, you'll go through and basically start kind of getting an idea and a feel for what this sprint's going to be about, what topics you're going to cover, and things like that. Um, throughout that three hours, your project manager will actually be having one-on-one -on -one meetings with you and different members of your group. Uh, my group's pretty lax on this. Uh, my project manager typically posts, you know, if anyone has any preferences to Slack, we let her know kind of what our schedule like that night or that evening. And she works, you know, basically in the order we were comfortable with or what fits for us that night. Uh, and that's just to co go over personally one-on-one, -on -one, you know, what you've done so far, any problems you're having you can ask in a comfortable environment without other people around. and. Just things like that. Um, now, next we have the guided demo, which isn't much different than the lecture or deeper dive. So these two days here on a week are very, very similar. Uh, you'll spend two hours in a Zoom meeting with your instructor who will basically be going over some kind of topic that you will be applying in the project coming up, which as you can see up here, starts at 11 for me. Uh, project time is just that, that is when you went through the training kit and then you went through the lesson with the instructor and now you get on GitHub, clone the repository and begin the project. Um, this is 100% you. Uh, they, you're not in any kind of meeting, you're not being supervised, they're not hovering over your shoulders, nothing like that. But you do always have the Slack channel to where you can reach out for help and ask others. Um, we have specific sections for help, and then you have your group Slack, all those types of things where you can interact with other students, with your own group, or the entire cohort, or you can get, you know, in feedback from your project manager or your instructor if you're really struggling. Um, so they're always available, but they're also not pressuring you. It's a um, very much work on your, at, not necessarily work at your own pace, but yes, work at your own pace. As long as you get it done, it works out pretty well. So I typically, even though it says 11 p.m. till 12 a.m., I'm a night person, and I also like to work as far as ahead as possible. So after the lecture or guided demo, I'm usually up till maybe 1 or 2 a.m. working on my project. So the next day uh, is the CC Solution Lecture, which is the coding challenge for that week. So what the Coding Challenge Solution Lecture is, is basically when you and your group and your project manager get together to share code and go over possible solutions to those Replit challenges. Um, it's scheduled for 30 minutes, sometimes it's taking a little bit less. Uh, that's really up to your group and your project manager and how everyone's doing. And then as you can see, right below that at 9.30 we have 
two more hours of project time, which for all intents and purposes really stretches through all the way to the end, but we do have a stand up at the end of the night. So before I get to that, let me reiterate that this project time, despite it being a block in the middle, is the same thing. You're not in any kind of live chat meeting at this point in your project time. You're working on your own, with your project, on your computer. You can take the breaks when you want to take breaks. If you need to you know, get you a drink or step aside and smoke, or if you need to you know, grab a snack, anything just to kind of get the you know, creativity and thinking going, that's all on you. Um, you, you really have to manage your own time. Uh, but like I said, they're, they're always available to help you. And there's, there's plenty of people to reach out to. You can always, there's even a Slack channel if you want to pair program, which they encourage, where you can set up your own Zoom meeting between you and another student. Y'all can hang out, talk, and uh, just discuss the project while y'all both work on it. Okay. <coughs> Duh. Okay. So then at usually around 11.30, you will get a Zoom link from your project manager where you and your group will then come back together and have stand-up, which is a industry standard. This isn't just a Lambda School thing. This is something people and software engineers actually do on the job in companies where you all come together to discuss the project or projects you're working on. You will report what you've done so far on the project, what you have left to do on the project. Are there any blockers keeping you from achieving those goals? Are you in the clear? Or do you need help? Do you need more time? Or are you done? You know, those types of things. That's where typically, uh, for Lambda, I'll let them know if I'm working on the main core tasks, or if I've moved on to the stretch tasks at that point, or if I've finished the project and I'm working on something on the side. Like right now, I'm building a uh, React app on my own time just to kind of get a head start in working on that framework. And then as you can see on Thursday here, it's an almost identical repeat of Tuesday where we have a two hour lecture with our instructor followed by an hour of project time. Uh, this is in, then Saturdays, this is where things get a little weird because for some reason we have class 12 hours earlier. <laughs> not, uh, no, not 12 hours earlier, but about, you know, nine hours earlier. So this is a very similar schedule to Wednesday minus the time difference, but we have pure code review instead of coding challenge solutions. What the peer code review is, uh, you will be randomly matched up from someone from your entire cohort, not just your small group, but the entire cohort you're in. And the two of you will have a one-on-one, -on -one, or sometimes there's three if uh, somebody can't make it or you got an odd number or something like that. And uh, you all get together and go over that w those week's projects. So, you know, this project here and this project here, you can compare your code, let help each other out, and if you get done with that, you can talk about other things involving coding or get to know the other person and network a little bit. Have an opportunity just to meet people or make friends or whatever you social people do. Um, and then after that, it's right back at it where you've got a lot more project time to uh, finish that second project for the week up. And then there's another stand up form. So that's a week. Pretty typical week. Not too bad, right? Let's look at B week, which is here. But I'm gonna be starting tomorrow. Um, it's also really similar, but things are kind of pushed back a day because we don't have the training kit and one-on-ones because that's just at the start of the sprint. And the part-time sprint, as I mentioned, is a two week long stretch. Um, so we can see B week on sprint three here. So we got got a demo, project time, coding solution, project time, stand up, deeper dive lecture, project time, peer code review, project time, and a stand-up form. And then on Saturday, this Saturday, the second every other Saturday, is our sprint challenge. And the sprint challenge is a three-hour time challenge where you'll go through and use everything you've done for that sprint, those, those whole two weeks, everything you've used in this one project. You'll bring it all together and you have three hours to complete this um i mean you you can keep working on it after that three hours uh down the line and stuff but like that three hours is where they start to look at how you are learning these concepts and how you're handling them 
Um, the other projects are basically a practice work up to the sprint. It's not that those projects aren't important, but the sprint challenge are the projects that can really stand out if you can keep a grasp on all these topics, which is a little bit more challenging than you know it sounds at first glance because two weeks is a long time to remember all the details and there's a lot of information that's covered in this two week period. Um, the sprint challenges, just like most projects, have a grading system of one to three stars. One star is you did not finish the main features or tasks that you are supposed to implement into the project. Two is that you got the main stuff done but you weren't able to access the stretch or extra features that the client would like added in by the demo day. And then three stars is completing the main tasks as well as at least one stretch goal. Um, so far I've been lucky enough that I've actually made three stars on all my projects. But remember, I've come into this and I, I've, I have experience with everything we've done so far. Um, not as deep as Lambda's went. I've, I've definitely learned a lot, but I feel like having that, that solid foundation for me to build off of kind of gave me a little bit of an edge here. Um, so after the sprint challenge, you can see that there's something called after hours. This is 100% optional, and what it is is typically our section leader will hold a zoom meeting sometimes they'll have somebody come and talk um, sometimes it's just it's just a bunch of hangout learning some extra things helping people out and it's just a kind of a the lambda equivalent of extracurricular activities and stuff like that so that's the process of what part-time students go through at lambda uh, it's a two-week sprint and we repeat this pattern over and over and over again for roughly a year, uh, it's it's not exact. It's a little wonky on exactly when the start and end of that is, but that's what that's what we'll be doing. And I like it. I think it's a really maintainable schedule, and I think it's a it's a very uh, I, I like the freedom it allows because I, I I prefer to be given a task and allowed to figure out how to solve the task as opposed to you know like everyone's math teacher saying you have to use this you know equation to solve the problem or it doesn't count regardless of what answer you've gotten so see i don't have to deal with stuff like that but i hope this uh clears up any questions any of y'all have about kind of the part-time schedule here at lambda i feel like it's very maintainable and honestly, if I didn't have children, I would love to uh, give the full-time uh, course a whack. But unfortunately, I have other time commitments and can't do that at the moment. So, But if you all have any other questions about Lambda School or coding in general, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will get back to you just as soon as I can and hopefully be able to answer your question. And thank you again. And as always for watching, um, I guess that one's it for this.